Shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. Ao, Ashtoreth, Moloch, we wrestle against principalities. In this day and age, well, we know where to put on the armor, Ephesians 6.10. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers, and wickedness. It's hard for us to visualize such things as, as demonic forces, but in ancient times it was easier. Deuteronomy, Jehovah said they made him jealous with their foreign gods and angered him with their detestable idols, and they sacrificed the false gods, which are not Elohim. So the false gods and idols were standing for principalities of darkness, and what were their gods that caused the fall of Israel? There was one above them all, and his name was Baal, and we know him as Baal, the god of the Canaanites. He was a god of lust and greed. And so if we're following the pattern of Israel in the wrong way, then we would also be in danger of becoming and welcoming the false gods of this land. Baal was a substitute Jehovah, the god that Israelites turned to when they turned away from Jehovah, the alternate god, the god of the apostasy, the rejection of Elohim. Baal is a spirit by which they drove Jehovah out out of their public squares and out of their lives and the lives of their children, out of their culture, and by Baal, they drove God out. Baal, or Baal, was the god of thunder, god of clouds, god of fertility, god of increase of gain, god of greed, god of carnality, god of materialism. But we know America was formed in the pattern of ancient Israel and was founded on the word of Yah. So if America departs from Jehovah, they will be vulnerable to the same principalities of Baal, and those are materialism, carnality, impurity. And under the spirit of the ungodliness of Baal, America began driving Jehovah out out of the public squares, out of the lives of your children, out of the culture to this day. Maybe you remember when this all started happening. And uh, don't forget that principality and power of Baal persecutes the people of Yah. They persecuted the ones that became and stayed true to Jehovah. So um, first uh, comes Baal and then comes Ashtoreth. And notice how it happens uh, as America turns away from the God of its foundation to the principality of Baal. Then it finds itself dealing with the principality of Ashtoreth. And Ashtoreth is Baal's consort, a female goddess, and her name is also Ishtar. And she was the goddess of principality of lust of sexual immorality, Her priestesses were prostitutes and the so-called sacred prostitutes of the Canaanite religion who performed sexual acts and sacred rites. And so with Ashtoreth, sexuality is taken out of the bedroom and out of the sacred bond of marriage and put on public display. We've seen that happen, haven't we? So uh, this principality divorces sexuality from marriage and it takes possession of ancient Israel, the culture becomes impure and has it taken us too. Yes, lust is all over America, proliferating with images and with idols of naked women. And notice how it happens. America first turns away from God of its foundation, the principality of Baal, when it finds itself dealing with the principality of Ashtoreth also. So it's no accident. It all started in the decade of the 1960s with the so-called sexual revolution that America began taking God out. And America was given over to the spirit of Ashtoreth, the spirit of sexual immorality. Sexuality is taken out of the private realm in Isles of Marriage Covenant and becomes part of popular culture. So the principality of Ashtoreth um, uh, is sexualized, proliferating images of carnality and the worship of Baal all over America. And also you might want to know the Greek word for prostitute is porn. 
And that's where we get the word pornography from. And so now the images of pornography proliferate across America in the worship of Ashtoreth. Sexuality is taken out of the bonds of marriage and now put on public display and America becomes sexualized, given to immorality. There's a sword of Ashtoreth. She is the goddess of destruction. She has a sword and there's a hint there that the fruit of sexual destruction, sexual immorality is always destruction. So here is destruction, broken marriages, we've all seen this, broken homes, broken children, broken hearts. There's one more that's on Holy Trinity, the fall of ancient Israel didn't end with Ashtoreth and the sexual revolution. The third god, the god of dark trinity, Molech, Molech was first foreshadowed by Baal, then Ashtoreth, and then him. And he is the third principality of destruction. And he was the god to the, who the Israelites offered their children to as sacrifices because they thought that would increase their prosperity and please him. So the Bible says that they caused their children to pass through the fire and that judgment would be coming. And that's what's happening at the end. America is now under the Principality of Baal, the Principality of Ashra, and the Principality of Destruction, Molech, the unholy trinity, Baal, Ashra, Molech, here in America. And uh, Leviticus 18.21 says, Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech, for you must not profane the name of your Elohim. So uh, what have we witnessed here in our lives? Lives of marriages and families destroyed. America removes God from the public square. America removes God from the schools. And in 1973, legalizes the killing of the children through abortion. So they offered up their own children under the principality of Molech. And this is what the abortion uh, people say, that abortion is a sacrament in the hands of women, and it's not moral to choose abortion. It's simply another kind of immorality. Or morality. And yes, it is another kind of morality, a pagan one. Thousands of years ago, this was the same gospel, and the culture of these goddesses were killing infants, offering them up to Molech. So now, uh, if you have an issue with that connection here, Israel offered up their thousands, but we have offered up over 60 million of our children. So when did abortion return to the West? At the very moment, the same time when America began to depart from Jehovah, letting uh, the evil principalities coming into this world. And America was the first to legalize abortion. And Jehovah says, Thou shalt not do unto him the abominations that were done uh, by the, the these evil idols and the paganism. For even their sons and daughters were burnt in the fire to their gods. Deuteronomy 12:30. So uh, has America fell away from Jehovah? Has America turned to worshiping other gods? And when a culture removes Jehovah. It's removing the image of God, and once the image of God is removed, anything goes. So when you remove Jehovah, you're removing the sacredness of life. So will you stand for Jehovah? Stand against the principalities of darkness. Put on the whole armor. Stand against the principalities of Baal and Ashtoreth. So finally, be strong in Yah and the power of his might, Ephesians 6.10. So like if this is a blessing to you, and please share with your friends and family. Let them know about these spirits of principalities that have entered into our culture and into our world. And so remember, I'm short and sweet. I'll see you back next time, Yah willing. And thank you so much for being here today.